Hey folks, this is your brother Mad Black, the most dangerous and most toxic black man on the internet, and I'm black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. I saw a video yesterday, actually a few videos, done by our sister Lashid for you, and I've always appreciated her videos and her takes on things. I've actually been watching her for a long time. Like she's she's actually one of the YouTubers that's probably been around on YouTube since I have, like, because I, I started out back in, was it 2007? I want to say either 2007 or 2006, maybe even, just posting my cartoons and stuff, <coughs> and there weren't that many black people on YouTube, because, you know, there are so many different video upload sites at the time, but, you know, I, I remember, you know, those early days of YouTube and whatnot. And, uh, you know, like I said, she's been on here for a long time. And she made some videos very recently where she's just been talking about, you know, the the recent grouping of, of women that make these videos online that are very anti-black woman. You know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, you'll see a lot of these females, whether they be black, white, or whatever, they'll be making these anti-black woman videos where they'll just do videos where they're talking bad about black women. And, you know, a lot of them are starting to gain a large black male following from in the, the black manosphere. And I, I've noticed the uptick in this as well, just, just, just literally within the last few years, like since the pandemic, of a lot of females now jumping on and giving out a lot of manosphere talking points and they're even starting to use the same language and a, a lot of them are are, are are phonies or their agents sent from somewhere because it is it is too ridiculous for it to be legitimate you know at, at the very least i'll say or, or at the most innocent i will say a lot of them are just opportunists who are out here trying to make money one of the ones that i i, I noticed very recently because a lot of guys keep posting her videos, a lot of black guys anyway, is this very homely and goofy looking white girl named Pearly or Pearl or whatever. Is is this is like kind of tall, pale skinned, redheaded white girl with very thin red hair. And she just basically gets online and regurgitates a lot of manosphere talking points. And a lot of guys are cheering her on now. And I see a lot of black guys too. And what I the thing that I noticed about her was like every time I see her, she's surrounded by a bunch of black people. Like she's either in Great Britain surrounded by some black people or or has a bunch of black Americans around her. And I'm like, like what where did this chick come from? You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's very weird to me when I see these people just kind of pop up out of nowhere. And 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 what's funny is, you know, they call the, the name of her her channel is called the Just Pearly Channel. The, the just part is actually supposed to be a black female. There's a black female that pals around with her. There's like light-skinned black female. I think her name is either Justine or something like that. And that's why it's called Just Pearly. It's, it's a play on both of their first names. So there's actually supposed to be a black female there too. And I guess she's supposed to be there as kind of like an excuse for some of the nonsense that comes out of Pearly's mouth. Because she does some, say some very racist things at times. I don't know if anyone picks up on that. But, I mean, I'm always very distrustful when these white people just show up in the, a lot of these black spaces, especially when they're talking about making money off of or contributing to this, a lot of this gender war nonsense. You see, like one of the most racist things I heard her say was um, she's, she was saying, talking to like some, some white feminist saying that, you know, I can't be racist because I give black people jobs. Like she said she paid some Nigerians or something like that to help her manage her website and her social media. And that's the most money they've ever seen or will ever see. So so she basically played the white savior role, almost making it seem as if, well, I'm helping these Negroes, so I can't be racist. And, you know, I've heard stories where she says she dates black guys, but, you know, she talks a lot of this stuff about what women should do and how women should be. And there's never a man around her. You don't know who any of her boyfriends or anything like that. And she, just, you know, no man, no husband to be found. You think if she was this perfect woman who just had it all together, she'd be married her damn self, right? 
but of course not. That that's the funny thing about this whole uh, nonsense that you see on these this gender war. Uh, no one in a relationship is actually talking about relationships. <laughs> it's always these people who are chronically single or who, who have never had any type of positive relationship. They're always the ones talking about relationships. You know, dickheads like uh, Andrew Tate and you know that that punk. And I know, and I know, a lot of people probably love him as well, right? But to me, he's kind of a scrub. He reminds me a lot of these guys that I would see at the gym or getting into like mixed martial arts or MMA just to make themselves feel like this ultimate alpha male because they are punks all through their childhood and their teenage years. So I kind of see through that when I see guys like that. But you know, just going back to like the the whole anti. Uh, black female rhetoric, because that's what Lashid for you was talking about, and I have to agree with her. I, I, I I've seen it too. I, I very much have seen. It. I kind of mentioned it offhand in some of my other videos, but you know, it, it seems to be like a uh, like that's the way. If nothing else, that's the way a lot of these 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 people will come out, and that's how they'll build up their YouTube channel. They'll go out. And they'll find the most ratchet videos of black women doing something, or they'll find some some black girl saying something stupid on social media. Especially, you know, TikTok is good for that nowadays. TikTok is full of young black people saying stupid things. I I, I want to do a separate video about that. How you know TikTok is just one big minstrel show, but uh, you know, it's real easy to go find that stuff out there. And then these people will do whole video series on. You know what these people are talking about. Like very recently, I saw. I guess there's some black stripper out there who's upset that no one wants to date her. But you know, you have all these guys in the manosphere like making videos about this girl. Like no one knows who this girl is. You know what I'm saying? Like no one, no one would even know she's a stripper. But like you guys are promoting her video and using it as an example, I guess, of entitled women or entitled black women or whatever, right? So it's almost kind of like, but, you know, no one would even know who this person was if you weren't promoting it. it it's it, it's almost like, like there, there's almost like a weird relationship between them. Like they, they're basically saying how much they don't like black women, but a lot of these people are making livings off of the quote unquote dysfunction of black women. You see what I'm saying? So they'll find the most dysfunctional out there and put them on the forefront, and then they'll talk bad about them and make it seem like that's how all black women are. You see what I'm saying? And sad to say, there's a lot of black women who have jumped on that bandwagon as well. And, you know, like, uh, Lashie, for you, was talking about, uh, what's her name? The, the Crimson Cure, the, the Muslim lady. I think her name is Kendra. And at least she claims to be a Muslim. I'm not sure if she actually is one or not. Because, you know... When I start, like some people have sent me some of her videos too, and some of the things she says, like I can agree with, but her whole her whole style of how she does things is basically like every video literally is is, is has black women in the title and is in a negative sense. Like you see what I'm saying? Like even if the literally even if the video has nothing to do with black women, she'll say black women this that and the third, and it's always something negative. And it's like, okay, is that is that really where you want to go with this? If you if you are here to help and uplift, do you really want to go that route? Do you really want to go the shock jock Tommy Sotomayor route? You see what I'm saying? And but, but once again, a lot of these people seem to be more opportunists. They're not really here to help. They're here to help themselves financially. And the quickest way to do that is to do these negative videos about black women. You see what I'm saying? It's not, it's, it's almost gotten to be like almost a parody of itself because so many people do it. Like I, I've thought about doing like a little cartoon short, <laughs> like a uh, uh, infomercial of how to do a fuckboy channel. <laughs> just basically, you get a channel and you just talk bad about black women, uh, twenty four seven, and you and you just watch your your user your uh, your views and your subscribers go up as time goes on, right? Because that's all you have to do. Like I could do that if I just decide to do a video two times a day. Talking bad about black women or finding ratchet black women videos, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get banned. Cause someone asked me the other day, like, why don't you have more views? I'm, I, Cause I don't do that type of content. You see what I'm saying? So if I 
If I did a, a negative black woman video twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, uh, all I would start getting mad subscribers just from that. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I know the formula because I've seen it so many times. Just do a negative black woman video twice a day. Do a live stream every once in a while. Find their most ratchet videos. It wouldn't matter if I'm showing black women fighting, black women getting killed, uh, a black women doing something sexual to children. My videos would never get taken down. I would never get banned. In fact, like I said, YouTube will push my channel in the algorithm and I'll be the most popular YouTuber within two to three months. Okay, it'd be very easy for me to do that. And just, I just say how much I don't like black women or whatever, right? So, it, it, like I said, it's just gotten ridiculous. And, and I know there'll be some out there who will say, well, they, they hate on black men. Yes, there's a lot of black male hate out there as well. I'm just talking about one facet of this gender war bullshit that a lot of people put out there to profit off of. And it's, it's sad because it's, it's so much less... There's less real people on YouTube talking about anything realistic. Now, I've actually compiled uh, like a database of actual real black couples. I'm going to do a video about that next week, and I'll put that up next week for you guys to go see. That way you can see that there are real black couples on YouTube who are normal people and not a lot of this gender war nonsense in case you want to have an escape from that. But we'll talk more about that next week. But, I mean, let me know what you think about this video in the comments section. And let me know if you noticed the same thing with a lot of these, these weirdos out here. Cause I, and I have to say, I, I, I get kind of disappointed in a lot of my people out there, especially a lot of my black males. Because it's real easy to deceive y'all. All you got to do is basically regurgitate some Manosphere talking points. And you guys will prop that person up as the next guru. To where even now, like I said, this this uh this homely white girl Pearly is put up on a pedestal. You see what I'm saying? She's I mean she's already white, so all she has to do is just uh she doesn't matter what she looks like, she could be ugly as hell. But now all she has to do is regurgitate some mansphere trash, and she's your guru. And if it's not her, it's Andrew Tate. If it's not her, if it's not him. It's uh, Jordan Peterson. You know, it do doesn't matter. As long as they regurgitate some nonsense, you guys will put them up on a pedestal. Anyway, you guys let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. Once again, Mad Black, and I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.